Right, as requested by Mark, this is a video on HMF. Um, these are mine. I use, they look good as a background. Blacks out the tanks, makes it look smart. You can do it at the back, like them. Or the sides. I don't know if you can see that one. I'll show you this one. That's a sideways one. Creates loads of flow. Leave about an inch, an inch gap at the back. The pipe. There's another one. Um, so you can see the flow kicking out of the German uplift. I also use a tap. So, so you can see it. I've got a tap going to every single HMF uplift. So basically, the top taps on the airing main up there. I have that on full blast, and then control the flow from this. So I don't have to keep getting up a ladder, turning it off, coming back down, seeing which one's turned off. So this just makes it a lot faster and a lot easier. Um, the sponge I use is this black one. It's from Germany. I'll put, I'll put all the uh, links of the websites that I use for the sponge and the uplifts. Um, this is a 2 inch sponge, 20 ppi. Um, they do do a I think it's a three centimetre sponge, but it'd be a bit flimsy. You want something that's strong and sturdy, not like my camera skills. Can't get the tape measure at the same time. So, two inch. And this one, when it was full, was a uh, metre by a metre. As you can see, a big square's been cut out of that. Probably from one of those tanks there. Um, it's very sturdy, 20 ppi. It's not very, not very coarse, but it's not fine. You want you want stuff to go through it. If it's too fine, it'll clog up very quickly. And then, obviously, if it's too coarse, it won't really be good as a filter catching particles. So, I went for the right in the middle of the road, 20 ppi. Recommended by quite a few other fish people that have the same filters. Um, the uplifts, I'll show you, which tank's easier, I'll go in this one. So that's the uplift, you can see how much flow's coming out of there. Um, tanks are 15 wide, so I've cut the sponge to about 15 and a half, just so you can get a good wedge, it's not going to fall over, it's not going to come out, it's, it's wedged in. Cut straight, obviously. Um, I'm just turning my valve down and move the hand as you can see it's slowing right down and then speed it back up so it's a hell of a lot easier to control so they're going up and down ladders all I've done is basically cut cut the pipe put the tap on it so much easier and you can see how much flow it's kicking out it's moving the plants the like raspberries are loving it creates flow. Um, I'll just get the uplift out so you can have a look at it. Take it off. Right, so this is a 16mm uplift. My tanks are 10 inches high so this was perfect, 16 mils that. Um, height on this is, about six and a half inches, six inch. My well, yeah, tanks are 10 inch, so you can see the, that's the gap from the bottom. You don't want it touching the bottom because it sucks up all the crap that it collects at the back. But this is big enough for a 10 inch tank. You maybe get the next size up if you have a 12 inch tank, 12 inch high tank. This is a German one with a curve, so it's not got that steep, like right 90 degree angle where you're going to get a lot of glugging, a lot of noise. As you can tell, these are very quiet. Since I've used the HMF, the noise in here has got a lot quieter. No bubbling, no popping noises. Um, see the tiny little holes in there? This plastic thing here is a collar. Um, I don't know if I can do this at the same time as holding the phone. 
but this comes apart it says I'll put my phone down a sec there you go so that collar has a little lip on it so only air can get in and the air is dispersed through these tiny holes all the way around it's a proper neat professional job so that goes back on there you can see the lip at the top that literally just squeezes on quite tight and then the air disperses through there and then that's the bend this bit comes off as well you can twist it the other way around, but I just like the water coming out that way. It's just personal preference, really. They're not, they're not the cheapest things in the world, I think they were seven quid. But when you need 55 of them, it gets expensive, but it's well worth it, as you can see. These tanks are 11, um, 17 by 11, 11. So 11 inch height and width. So I've cut these sponges to 11 and a half, both sides, so it literally just wedges in, doesn't move at all. And then the same idea with the taps, there's a tap on each one. So from the airing main it's on full blast, so I can turn it down, and then turn it down and up using them, it's just a lot easier. Um, you can do doubles on bigger tanks. This one's a 56 inch by 15 by 12, so it's a double, there's two behind there, and you can see how much flow that's giving off on a 5 foot tank, it's pretty much reaching, what is it, reaching the end of these twigs here, you can see the flow at the top, so it is really kicking off some flow, not 100% how much flow, I've not measured it, but it's, it's really good, you can just see it can't you, you can see the results, crystal clear water. Same with that tank. And then with the baby tanks, it also acts as a dinner table. They're always feeding off it and eating stuff off it. And it's a massive surface area. Maintenance wise, once a year. I think some other people do it even less than that. These are the new ones, I've just got my mature filters in there as well, just whilst they're maturing up. And I'll eventually take them out. But yeah, I think I think it looks in that sponge filter there. That kind of image is it's all right, but I prefer that. It's nice and neat. Let's give you a quick tour all the way around. Right, I better put this filter back together. Cheers.